I'm here with one of North America's greatest steampunk artists, Dave Lee from Hatton Cross Steampunk. I, I love the level of detail that you put into everything that you do. And so I'm gonna hand it off to you and let you talk about Hatton Cross and some of the stuff you brought today. Okay. Well, first off, thank you for having us. Oh, thank you. Uh, total uh, pleasure and honor. And how often do you get to drive a steampunk uh, version of Boba Fett's ship around a mall, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, yep, so Hatton Cross Steampunk is a collective of makers, authors, artists, the whole gambit of um, geeks that just love steampunk. Uh, most of us are in uh, either North Carolina or Virginia, but we do have members in Georgia, uh, members overseas in Germany, as well as uh, members in New Zealand, uh, two members over there. Uh, and yeah, so it, it's, first off, I guess I should throw out my, uh, what is steampunk? Well, steampunk, I'm glad you asked, yes, what is, is steampunk? Uh, my, my favorite definition, there's an infinite number of definitions, but my favorite de definition is it's our interpretation of 19th century concept of futurism. It's a little bit to, choke, uh, to chew on there, but so if you think about their idea of futurism, all the things that they imagined was possible, and it's like our interpretation of building that. And, and that's the definition I, I like the most. People will say, um, 19th century science fiction, Victorian era science fiction, but it's more about, for me, it's more about the futurism of theirs and, and making it reality. Sure. It's also a lot about um, making something that is not, looks like it does one thing, but it's a, it's a mirage. Because one of the great things about the 19th century, too, was um, like snake oil salesmen and magic pills and oils that did all of this and actually did nothing. Um, so a lot of steampunk um, art will look like it does one thing, but actually it does nothing. Um, Rube, Rube Goldberg um, mm -hmm. machines are beautiful um, uh, illustrations of, of steampunk art, in, in my opinion. A lot of it's about opinion, too. Um, so what we have over here, just a couple things that I could fit in the, uh, the trailer. But um, this ship right here is the, a steampunk version of Boba Fett's ship. Uh, we call it the Steam One. It uh, has doors on linear actuators, so the via remote control, I can open up the door. Uh, it is built on a heavy duty electric wheelchair so that I can sit in and drive around. And so, as I was just doing all around the, uh, the mall here. Um, it has a 125 watt amplifier, so I can do all kinds of great um, uh, sound effects. And I was driving around a convention playing Weird Al's White and Nerdy because it just fit. Um, it has headlights, it has interior lights, it has front and rear cameras with monitors inside so you can uh, equip the pilot with a little bit better visibility and hopefully not hurt anyone while driving. Um, here we have a, the Spartan. The Spartan is a character um, who is a comic book that we're working on, but he is a crime fighter in 1880s uh, New York City and with a bit of an obsession of, about Spartans and, and Rome and Greeks and stuff like that. So he has built himself a steam-powered chariot that helps him uh, get around the city much quicker than uh, most. And yes, and that is his armor uh, with a plasma pack on the back for powering various uh, accoutrements and weapons. Uh, and then of course, the ever-present uh, mask and helmet to mask his identity. Who is he? I don't know, but he bears a striking resemblance to me. <laughs> yes. We've never seen you in the room at the same time. That's true. You've never seen us together. Um, over here, you'll see uh, just um, some small examples of um, uh, eight, Hat Cross Steampunk's, um, one of our makers, Ayla Badiana, my wife, um, she does a lot of costuming pieces for us, so or for herself and for us. Um, and her specialty is beadwork, so you'd have to actually get um, you'd have to get up close to really appreciate the uh, level of detail that goes into this, but we, we have a, uh, another set of costumes that is a, uh, a giant robot that has captured a mermaid, and the mermaid is in a cage that the robot is carrying. There's a mermaid queen, there's the diver, the dive suit, and it's all part of our, uh, as a result of Dragon Con a few years ago, uh, underwater um, you know, Nautilus type theme. So, yeah, we, we, we love it. 
Um, this vehicle was built as a challenge um, uh, against a, a really dear friend of mine, Arthur Milliken, uh, who is a Disney Imagineer and built uh, Neverland for Michael Jackson. And, you know, just the best part about um, Steampunk, I I'll say there's two best parts about Steampunk and then I'll, I'll give you your microphone back. Right. One is the people that you meet um, will be from all walks of life, all um, race and religion, and, and it doesn't matter. You'll find educated, not educated. It, it, you just find really the probably the most diverse mix of people really geeking out about this era's um, you know uh, science fiction. Uh, the second best thing is that it's it, and people forget this a lot is the punk part. So. You, you do this, but there's this rebellious aspect of it that, and, and again, in my opinion, your art should incorporate. And that rebellion is, you know, we're not 19 or 1800s uh, reenactors. Mm -hmm. We're um, we're taking the 19th century and we're rebelling against the things that, that at the time they told you you were limited to. So, for example, my daughter. Um, doesn't doesn't want to have the classical roles of the, the of what women had in the 19th century. She wants to be dressed really frilly and, and beautiful, but then have a samurai sword and a gun and armor and fight demons. Mm -hmm. And in steampunk, not only can you do that, but you're actually encouraged to. So don't limit yourself to what what history had. You're supposed to take that and then embellish on that futurism. And, and there's no another great example of that would be Will Smith's character. So in the TV show Wild Wild West. Um, the main character was Caucasian. Well, in the, in the movie, they cast Will Smith in it. Nowadays, thankfully, nobody, people look at that and nobody thinks anything about it. Nobody really, most people don't go, hmm, could an African-American be a captain and in charge of the civil service and all of that? Well, in history, no, right? Mm -hmm. But in steampunk, absolutely. And, and so it's, uh, I, I don't know, it's So it's very reimagining the future past. Yes, it's whatever you want to, and, and uh, a lot of people will try to limit you, but it's really just they haven't really figured out how to expand their own uh, bits. So, thank you very much for having us. Here's sure. Your well, one back. last question. I, I was going to do a mic drop, but I yeah, decided. Yeah, he won't like that. <laughs> so it's a very nice looking mic. So, the last question is: If somebody watching this wants to get involved and become a steampunk maker, create costumes, create props, vehicles, what's their starting point? How do they get involved? Well, um, there, of course, is a myriad of books on Amazon and, and other uh, places to, to buy books that you can get. Uh, I would say uh, check out Joey Marsacci's uh, 1001 Steampunk Creations. I would say check out um, Thomas Williford's um, uh, Gears, Gadgets, and Gizmos, I think is what it's called. Some of the how, like DIY books. Um, start doing searches how to and you'll find a, a million videos out there of how to do anything and um, and then do research so pick something in history that you really like and it doesn't have to be limited to the 19th century you could pick uh, Romans uh, Romans had uh, some degree of steam power you know um, so pick something research it so you know what to, to rebel against and and, and twist and then make it your own and, and make your character and, and have fun with it, so. Cool. Well, thank you, Dave, for coming out and sharing Absolutely. with the folks here. Uh, Dave Lee, everybody, Hatton Cross Steampunk, look them up online. They've got a website, Facebook, awesome stuff. hcsteam.net. Thank you.